Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the slope stability analysis using the uh, Spencer method. And uh, this is the code that I wrote in my previous video. And if you haven't watched it yet, go to the description of this video. Uh, I'll take the link there and uh, check it out. So this code is for uh, slope stability analysis using the ordinary uh, method and uh, we can uh, try uh, I show you uh, the result first okay so this is the result so this is the um, safety of uh, Sorry, uh, the factor of uh, 30 and this is the um, example that uh, I'm going to use in this uh, video before we start please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button and if you like this video please put a thumb up as well I want to show you the reference that uh, I use so uh, you can check this this book and you can check the chapter 8 uh, method of slice and Spencer method so uh, you can check the detail in here but uh, I want to show you something uh, uh, briefly so so uh, the first equation is the um, this equation here which uh, based on the moment a uh, equilibrium and uh, the other one is the uh, um, equation here uh, which are based on uh, force uh, equilibrium but uh, in uh, the example today uh, doesn't have the water pressure so some parameters we uh, don't need it so we're going to delete it in uh, these uh, equations uh, in order to perform this uh, method we need to assume two parameters the first one is the um, uh, safety of factor and the other one is the uh, uh, data here so uh, the value let me show you uh, here so the data will start from 0 to 0 0.6 and for the safety factor we will uh, use the one from the uh, ordinary uh, method here okay so what we need to do is uh, to uh, add another function in this uh, python uh, script so uh, can uh, get answer method now the input are similar to this one but uh, we need one more uh, parameter which is the assume uh, factor of 30 Now, uh, first, I will create some uh, uh, parameter that uh, we going, we going to use. Uh, basically, we just need uh, some parameter that uh, we use in this equation. So this is the um, uh, value that uh, we going to use. This one we don't need it. and uh, this one we need and this one so the result will be uh, the force here so the reason that uh, we don't need this uh, parameter because uh, we don't have the uh, water pressure we don't have the surcharge and the uh, seismic uh, coefficient here uh, this is just a a simple example okay so uh, I will put 
some uh, parameter first. Uh, this is sinus alpha. Okay, so the next one will be uh, FS, which is the uh, factor of safety. And uh, we will uh, use this value here. And the other one is uh, theta. So uh, we input the uh, array here that from 0 to 0 0.6 and uh, number is 100 you can uh, input it um, as same fit uh, with your uh, uh, your own case next one I will create the uh, array for the uh, N uh, which is the uh, result from this equation so this will be a wake and so for FM list here uh, it will store the result from uh, this uh, part. So when we uh, compute for the end here, we can find the uh, uh, factor of uh, safety by using this equation. And uh, if you go to that equation, uh, you can find it here. And again, some parameter we don't need it. So we use only this part and this part. Sorry, this part here. And uh, when we get that uh, value, we will store in this list. And uh, for the FS list here, it represents the uh, factor of safety in the uh, force equilibrium case here and uh, we use this equation and uh, this part we don't need it and this value as well okay so now let me uh, write a loop So this will go through the uh, data here and uh, we need another loop in order to compute for each uh, slide. Okay now we can compute for the uh, first equation and uh, this is what I, I want to uh, compute for. So uh, I already uh, write this uh, previously, so I just copy and paste it. So this is the equation. And uh, this equation have a condition because uh, the n here uh, cannot be a negative uh, value. And uh, if you compute um, and and uh, you get the negative value you need to change the uh, uh, fee sorry the um, uh, tension fee here to zero so uh, I will write a condition here if and uh, we can copy this and paste it here and change tension uh, V here to zero so uh, now we got this uh, value we can compute for the factor of 
uh, safety based on uh, moment equilibrium and uh, again we go to equation 8 7 uh, which is this one and again uh, to save time I will copy uh, what I uh, wrote and paste it here okay so another one is the um, vector of safety based on the force equilibrium and uh, we use this equation okay so now we got uh, the factor of safety based on uh, uh, two condition here we can find the uh, final uh, factor of safety by uh, compute the value uh, here so uh, we can plot the graph or we can find the value uh, uh, from the list that uh, uh, we created here so if the values are similar to each other that will be a, a factor of safety so uh, we can do something like uh, 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 subtraction so I can uh, search for the ID of um like this this will be an index in the list of this uh, subtraction it means that uh, if we do the structure uh, subtraction the minimum value of that uh, subtraction will be the uh, the the index of that uh, factor of safety so uh, we can call the uh, fs equal to fm uh, list and call this id so uh, next one we can do the return and uh, sorry. Okay, now we got the reason. We can do the um, the plot and the uh, print here as well. So let me just uh, change this first. So uh, I will add another part here to print for the factor of safety. And uh, let me change this to OD, which is the uh, factor of safety from ordinary uh, method. And we will call um, for the Spencer method. And we add the ODFS here so that we can compute for the value here. Now, actually, we can uh, try to run this. Okay, so uh, something uh, wrong here. So, this is the problem here the list here cannot be the size of uh, the array weight here that list will be the size of uh, this array so let me change it and uh, this one and uh, this two should be 
outside this loop okay so let me run it okay so we get the result now uh let's try to plot the graph so uh what i want to change is the result in the graph here so uh we can do something like this And uh, we will add the name of the method here. And the next one, we add another graph. So this is the three FM and uh, we call this uh, FS based on moment equilibrium. And another one. Okay, so we change this to force equilibrium and okay so let's try to run this okay so now we got the result here and this is the uh, uh, graph so it's something like this so the uh, x-axis here is the uh, angle theta and the um, vertical axis here is the factor of safety and you can uh, see it is uh, the this is the intersection uh, point and uh, you can see the value here okay and uh, and you can see the value here as well and uh, you can check in that uh, terminal here okay so this is it uh, for this method so again you can uh, read the book that uh, I show you earlier and uh, you can read in detail and uh, keep in mind that uh, this is just a small example if you use it on uh, uh, your own project, you have to be uh, careful and check it uh, uh, as seem fit. And one more thing, I want to show you the example in uh, GO5. So this is the uh, project that I uh, created. And it, it is the same example that uh, I use in the Python uh, script. So if you do the analysis, this is for the Bishop uh, method. You can see the factor of uh, safety here, and uh, we can use the Spencer uh, method as well. So this is the uh, factor of safety. Uh, if we compare it with our result here, it's uh, quite similar. So. Uh, this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it and apply and uh, can apply to your own project. Thank you so much uh, for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. If you like this video, please put the thumb up as well. See you in my next video.